Hey guys, it's Eternal Flight here, and today we're going to be doing a slightly different video. Um, so, as you know, E3 is currently taking place, and from where I am, it's now Monday, so Sunday is just surpassed, and I wanted to do a quick little roundup of basically the events that happened at E3 on Sunday. So, let's go in chronological order. BioWare kicked things off by revealing an extended trailer of their brand new game known as Anthem. Uh, I thought the graphics were really nice and the gameplay was awesome. Then Xbox showed us the Xbox One X and a few of the things it's capable of, including handling 4K, updating your older games, and capable of holding 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. And, well, since I'm a PC spec nerd, I actually do know what that means. It'll sell for $500, though, which I do believe to be, let's just say, a tad steep. Sequel to Crackdown 2, obviously. Crackdown 3 was given its second E3 reveal, as it has been stuck in development hell for absolutely ages now. Great to see it finally on the verge of release. First-person stylistic action game Sea of Thieves has a new demo, which looks pretty cool, I guess. Black Desert is getting a bump up for current gen, so all MMO players, this should be quite a nice inclusion for you. State of Decay 2 also it looks really, really fun, so if you're all for killing a fuck ton of zombies, then you're gonna have a very happy time with this one. Assassin's Creed Origins was also announced, and it's gonna be set in an ancient Egyptian setting, and it includes two new features on top of the already established Assassin's Creed yearly things, those being the ability to play as an eagle, and to shoot a bow and arrow of which you can change the direction of in mid-air, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah. After the success of Metro last night and later redo, Metro Exodus, which looks to be the awesome and annual installment of dark and gritty post-apocalyptic banter it always turns out to be, will be hitting store shelves very soon, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Forza Motorsport is going to be in 4K this time around, as if the cars didn't already look shiny enough. Battlefront 2 was revealed in what looks to be a new installment, reminiscent of Shadows of the Empire, which doesn't seem to be a massive deal in the fan base, as that game was awesome apparently, I haven't played it myself, so I'm just going off what other people have said. A new Need for Speed, this time under the moniker of Need for Speed Payback. Very, um, very creative, guys. I mean, it's not like, it's not like the car racing genre has gotten to the point where you just put the brand name and then you put a random cool sounding noun afterwards, like, um, Need for Speed Grit, or Need for Speed Angst, or Need for Speed Rage, or Need for Speed Fury, or Need for Speed Upset at Death of Parents, or Need for Speed I Want to Kill Some People Because They Killed My Parents, or Need for Speed I Want to Kill Some People Because They Clogged My Gutter, or Need for Speed I Don't Have a Chimney So I'm Now Going to Get Angry and Run Over a Bunch of People with Cars, or Need for Speed Look at the Shiny Graphics Because They're So Cool, Even Though Racing Games Are Just Formulaic and Completely Dull and Void of Meaning or Reason at This Point. And finally, the event that probably made every fangirl alike squeal out loud, the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped, and it has a Hercules world. So, cool. Hopefully, big heroes in there in some form. Anyway, all very, very saucy stuff. Um, okay, that's pretty much all I have for Sunday. I'll probably check back tomorrow with another video, I'll probably, probably about a roundup for what happened on Monday, as that would just... Um, make a lot of sense. So, anyways, I hope you did enjoy this slightly different kind of video. Um, I hope it was quick enough and wasn't too long-winded or jarring. Please do leave a like if you did like the video. I don't know if you did. I don't really answer this a whole lot. And I promise you guys, the 1,000 subscriber special is coming very soon. And can I just say something? As of right now, I uploaded um, my Extreme Moments part. Will it be five or six? I mean. Just hang on, let me just double check. So yesterday when I went to sleep, WW2K17 Extreme Moments Part 6 on my channel was uh, settling at a good 10,000 views. As of right now, two days after release, it's on 18,000. Which is, like, that is absolutely incredible. Like, I genuinely can't believe that. I just, I am blown away because I uploaded the video two days ago, and in that time it's already got 17,000 views, so by this morning, by, by, by last night, it already got 10,000 views in one day. I have some videos that don't get 10,000 views in eight months. Like, I have videos from two years ago which haven't even reached a quarter of that, 
and now this one's literally reached and now surpassed 10,000 it's gonna surpass 20,000 hell it could even surpass 30 it could be my most viewed video on my channel like this is just insane because I mean if, if the rate at which it, it's growing expands at like a pretty good rate then it stays the same this video could plausibly go over 90,000 views or something crazy like that which I find incredible but okay thank you aside I'll save those for the 1000 special thank you all very much and um, I'll hopefully see you in the next one which might be rounding up Monday or whatever so hopefully this was good comprehensive and an easy way to get you a little chuck up on what's happening on E3 so yeah I'll see you guys in the very next video I make bye bye